Hey everybody, it's Richard Wharton here, Amateur Simmer on DCS World. Today's video is all about a 1 versus 1 uh, against a MiG-29A. Uh, we're flying at about 8,000 feet above ground level and uh, we're nose to nose. Um, Let's see how else to describe the scenario. This is the second time I've shown this video and um, or shown this mission, and we're going to continue to do the same mission over and over again with narration, so that you can sort of see my mindset and thoughts as I go through the maneuvers and how I'm going up against this artificial intelligence, and how you might be able to avoid the mistakes that I make. Uh, it's I'm just recording these and I'm narrating them, uh, win or lose. And the goal is to try to show enough that I can get some consistency. So we're both starting at 350 knots, and let's fly. Okay, there's the MiG-29 off to my left. He's starting his turn. I immediately go into dogfight with guns mode. I turn on my helmet-mounted display. I'm keeping my airspeed high, but it's slipping as I make my turn. It's 6G turn. I look ahead, I look ahead, there he is. I've already lost him, he's in the ground clutter. He's below me. He is climbing. Now the MiG-29 has better nose authority than I do. He's already over the top. I'm gonna try to gain a little bit of altitude without losing too much. And now I'm below 5,000 feet. There he is. It was a face on. I'm trying to keep coming around. I'm now slow. I'm looking for him. I'm trying to get my airspeed up. The sweet spot for the F 16 seems to be about 420 knots. There I am. He's fired a missile. I'm okay. Now I'm too fast and I'm widening the radius of my turn. He's fired his second missile. We each have two missiles. So now I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. Now I'm pulling up to 9 G's. There he is. Let's see if I can bring the nose around and get a shot on him. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. You can see I keep blacking out. I'm just a little bit too too far behind him. Okay, now watch. He's above me now. He's got a greater power thrust to weight ratio. He's now got his nose down. He's using God's G. I'm trying to hold a little bit of speed. 360 knots. He's going to go nose up again. I find that the helmet mounted display can sometimes give you a false impression of how close you are with your nose. So now I'm going to bring my nose up to try to get a shot on him, and I'm just a little bit too far behind. I don't have the thrust to weight ratio that he's got. Now I'm near stall speed, so now I've got to go pick up some speed. I can see him just off to the right. Get my airspeed up. You never want to shoot your missiles while he's got the sun behind him. Okay. So now I'm at 8.6 G's. He's standing up on his nose. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm going to get my nose up there. And I missed. Now watch what happens. He's standing up on his nose. I have to go negative. Immediately he's got me on radar lock. I'm looking. He's now behind me. I'm going to try to get as much space between ourselves as I can. 460 knots. I'm going to try to get my 420 knot turn. 390. 390. I'm adding throttle. You can see I'm kind of jumping a little bit. 400, back to 390, back to 380. That's not where I want to be. Get myself back up to 400. I can't see him. I know he's back there, but I can't see him. 
390, six and a half G's, 400, five and a half G's. I'm trying to turn tight. I'm down to 2,000 pounds of fuel. I've only got about a minute and a half left of energy. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. He's back there, he's right on me. He's she's showing me his gut hip, and that's it. It didn't take much. He showed me his, his air intakes, and that was all I had. So, that's kind of it. The key to this, I think, is really to learn energy states. I've watched all the videos. I've got the flight instructor. I've been in the multiplayers. And I can continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. But there's some sort of sweet spot between sliding around and carving around and getting your yourself inside to the point where the MIG is playing defense. I think it's probably got more to do with me adding some speed and getting into the 430 to 460 range to maybe widen my turns when he's slower and he's got his nose up, but I don't know. I'm going to try to add some tack views to this. We'll see how it goes, but um, for now, you can sort of see... I was fighting a decently good fight, and I did get a shot or two off, but didn't quite have the rudder and nose authority that I might have, that I probably should have, and I have a hard time killing anything below um, when I can't see it from my nose. The, the radar tells me one thing, but I can't always trust myself. Um, and again, I think the helmet-mounted display can also tend to make me mislead a little bit, and I end up putting a little bit too much rudder uh, uh, elevator in, and I end up sliding and losing a lot of airspeed. Anyway, this video is for your perusal. Thanks for your time. Again, I am not a professional. I'm just an amateur, and I'm learning like everybody else. Thanks for watching, and have a great fight.